Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I am so happy to finally get to film a video after a whole year of not filming everything, anything actually. Um, today we're going to be talking about the famous peach collection by Too Faced. Um, I'm going to be talking about whether is it really worth the hype or was it over hype or was it worth the whole stress that it caused over people that couldn't get their hands on it and they just lost their panties over it. And so, I want to give you my honest opinion. Um, just want to let you know, uh, none of this is sponsored. I bought every single item out of my own pocket. And because I want to give you an honest opinion, and I want you guys to take my word into consideration. So, um, first off, the packaging, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It couldn't get any better. This is for the um, peach eyeshadow palette, the trio, the blush. I only bought three lip glosses because honestly... I believe they have 8 to 10. Honestly, I really don't think you need every single color. Unless you're like a collector or something. Like a collector like me. But do you actually wear gloss? Because let's get real. Like right now, on trend it's our matte liquid lipsticks. So, I mean, if you're really willing to wear gloss, you know, on a daily basis or often, then I will probably say yes. Buy the whole gloss collection if you want. But... Honestly, I just really like just three colors, and that's what I'm gonna be working with, okay? Uh, what should we talk about first? Let's talk about something that cost... I'm gonna break things up. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is one of their main collection items that really created a huge controversy, and actually even created anger between people because they couldn't get their hands on it, and because, um... You know how this goes. Uh, it's it claimed to be limited edition, and then um, you know people try to get it. The website crashes. It's sold in stores. You know, um, for those of you guys that don't really know me or are really getting to know me, I do work for a retail store. I don't know if it's okay for me to say the company's name for now. Just just let me do my research on that. But I do work for a retail store. Um, this palette, besides the fact that it was overhyped and a lot of people couldn't even get their hands on it. Um, we only got about five palettes in our store. It was ridiculous. And we had a list of like 30 people waiting for this beautiful palette. So um, I'm going to talk about the eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it has, it has your everyday neutrals. It has your nighttime colors. It has your shimmers, your mattes, everything you need in one palette. Now, the whole salad point was pretty much the fact that it smells like peaches and yes it does smell like peaches it tastes like peaches do not ask me how i know that <laughs> but it tastes like peaches as well now these colors are beautiful um but to be honest with you it is they are colors that you probably already have in other palettes it just you know it was on trend it was overhyped it was limited edition which then they made it permanent after they saw so many people angry commenting on their uh, Instagram and all that stuff saying how they couldn't get their hands on it it wasn't fair how people were able to buy like 20 of them now they were selling them on eBay for like triple the price and I totally agree with that um, I think it's really sad how people um, buy products and triple the price um, but then again nobody is taking advantage of anyone here it is your choice to whether you buy it or not I mean I really feel like it's not worth the stress no makeup item is worth the stress because later on you could probably get your hands on it even for cheaper because someone decided they didn't like it and they post it on I don't know a website where they sell like you stuff or whatever it's okay to it, and don't don't give me crap about it okay I know we all done it it's as long as it's disinfected if you're an artist and you're a professional artist you know how this goes um uh, so this retails I know for forty nine dollars um paid like fifty two fifty three with tax. Uh, it is a beautiful palette. The pigmentation is amazing. Um, but like I said, they are colors you you probably already have in your palettes. But if you're a collector, if you're into the hype, totally worth buying. Not regretting it whatsoever. The second item I'm going to talk about, it's the um, Highlight Bronze and Blush Trio. Now, these are the colors, as you can see. The highlighter is pretty. I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing the whole collection right now. Um, the highlighter is pretty as you can see. Um, in order to get this much pigmentation, I actually wet my brush with um, my Smashbox um, primer water. Um, it's amazing. I love this highlighter. I really think I wasn't going to like it because at first when we got it in, like I swatched it. And I was like, eh, 
I don't know about the highlighter. Um, but to me, it was like, okay, I need this item because it has like the highlighter, the bronzer, the blush, all in one. For those days where you're like, you don't even know what you want to do with yourself. And you're like, I'm just going to do like some, I don't know, wing liner, lashes, and we'll just throw in some highlighter and um, bronzer and blush to look put together. Because that's what I usually do because I don't always have time to glam up. Who does? Um, but I will say the bronzer. Um, I feel like it turned a little bit orange. I don't know if you guys, I don't think the camera could catch on it, but I feel like it's a little more on the orange side. I know a lot of people don't like that orange undertone, um, bronzer. So there's a reason why I'm putting this out there. If you're not into the whole orange undertone bronzer, you like your specific, you know, um, warm brown chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is not the best choice, maybe. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Am I, well, I mean, you guys, okay, I'm just gonna put it down. So I'm Put it down. Oh, sorry. The blush, by the way. Um, I want. I do want to mention the blush from this collection, from this specific trio. It's not the same as the single brush. The single brush. The single blush. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm just a little, you know, nervous and hype because, like, I'm filming again. Like after a whole year of not filming, and I'm just like rambling and can't stop talking. Like right now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, this one I'm gonna swatch it. it tends to be because I want to compare it with the other. Oh, my, can you guys even see it? Here, I'm gonna swatch it and I'm gonna put it here where you can probably see it. Can you see the color? No, you can't see the color. Yeah, you can see it. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's like a, it's a very soft peach, um, blush <laughs> color. Um, it does give more of a natural if you're not really into like those, um, how do I explain it? There's like original or uh regular peach and then there's like that peach with that goldy undertone or that pinky undertone this is just a straight peach blush like this is has no undertones nothing it does have a little bit of a glow but none nothing drastic now um the other blush which is this one right here this one does have a bronzy um it has like a like a goldy bronzy tone to it can you guys see that I know, I'm sorry, my swatches are horrible. I promise I'll get better lighting next time. I am sitting in front of my window. Um, let me see if I can get more pigmentation. It looks lighter. Oh, gosh, there we go. It looks lighter. See how this one's a little more, like, original brush? This one looks lighter. I am wearing this one if you guys want to see what it looks like. I'm wearing it on my, on the, between my highlight light and my bronzer. <laughs> um... It is a beautiful blush. This one, if if you were to ask me, do I need both of them, uh, or which one, which one should I get? There goes my lip gloss. Which one should I get? I will really go more with the original. Um, and I mean original because this was a relaunch. Okay, just putting out there. Let's get real. Um, the original um peach blush. This one I feel that suits more skin tones than uh, the other one. Um, I could tell you this personally because I. On our clients, we have tried both because sometimes they ask the same question or we want to find like that perfect peach blush for them. And then, you know, we offer this because it is a, a new launch or whatever. Not to push the sale or anything like that, but just because we want to, I don't know, introduce the new items that we have. I really don't care as long as I find something that is perfect for them. I don't care what it is. Um, if you were to ask me which one to get between those two, I will really say the original blush or that blush. Um because i feel like it suits every single skin tone rather than the other one since it is just like a straight peach color this one has more of a like goldy bronzy effect so it does suit every single one i don't know how to explain that but i feel like this blush just goes with everyone like and anything like you don't know what to blush to wear you don't know what you want to wear today just go with that one because that one's so beautiful it has beautiful undertones to it it gives you like a beautiful glow like a youthful glow if you're into that like the whole youthful glow whatever um but yeah, I would really, really recommend. Um, it, that, that one does retail for $35. Yes, $35. Uh, the trio, I remember it retail for $45. Um, now let's talk about the glosses. The glosses. Um, so the glosses, like I said, I did choose these um, specific shades. And it's um, the nude, the bright orange, and like the soft pink. I'm actually wearing the nude with... um. I'm sorry if you hear my toddler back there. He's like struggling with his DS because when he can't freaking pass a level, he has to scream his lungs out and just whine about it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am wearing the nude one with a brown, um, like a ready brown liner. I'm not sure about the brand. I'll put it in the description below. 
Um, this is this is a, this is an amazing gloss. Actually, I think this one's like the top seller. If you were to ask me what gloss to get or what color from all of them, I would really just go with this one. This is something you could wear with anything. It goes with everything. Smoky eye, natural, you name it. It goes with everything. Now these colors, these colors are more for those days where you would just want to go out. You know, like you want to wear like a pop of color or like you want to go with that soft, you know, princessy pink kind of thing. You know, this will be it. Um, the formulation on these it says it's an oil gloss i really just feel like original gloss um i do feel though they are a bit hydrating which is perfect because after a whole week of wearing long wear matte you know liquid lipsticks from anastasia smashbox tart you name it um i feel sometimes our lips need a rest and this is the perfect product to just give our lips that little break that it needs because we all need a break even our lips need a break um, please do yourself a favor and sleep with like a thick layer of Vaseline in your lips before you apply lipsticks because you will feel how like it just sucks up the life out of your lips when you wear uh, liquid lipsticks often. So this is something if um, you know your lips are wearing are feeling dry or whatever, this is something great to wear. Um, I really like to wear like this soft pink like when I'm not really going to do anything, let's say I'm just going to be home today or I'm going to go to school and like I'm going to go be home and then go to school. So meanwhile, I have to do my chores, I have to do my groceries, I have to do laundry, whatever. Um, this is something I like to wear with just like some mascara and it looks like really soft pink and pretty and it just gives you a pop of color. Not drastic though. Um, like I said, the formulation of these, it claims to be um, a, I'm going to swatch one for you and I'm going to swatch the bright one because if I swatch a new one, I feel like the lighting's just gonna like sh wash it off. Um, the bright one, it's really pretty. Um, this is a formulation or whatever. It comes to be like a, a lip a oil lip gloss or whatever. It's really nice. I know it doesn't look as pigmented. Once you apply on your lips, though, it's really pigmented. Um, but it's nice. The formulation is really nice. Um, I will say though, if you're looking forward for it to last like the whole day or last long. It's not really gonna, but the best part about these is that it wears off like naturally. Like first it's like bang, pigmentation and, and pretty gloss. Then it's like, oh, like a soft whatever. Um, right now I barely applied it, so I can't even be in a good example for that. But um, um, yeah, after it wears off, I'm sorry, I lost myself. After it wears off, like it gives you like this pretty natural hydrated effect. Um, I personally love that for the fact that I don't really get to see that much hydration on me. Uh, for the fact that I'm always wearing makeup because of thug life, whatever. I'm sorry, that's my toddler again, complaining, grandma trying to calm down. Anyways, um, uh, my big point here is all this collection really worth the big hype? Or better yet, was this really worth the whole stress over getting every single item from the collection? My honest opinion, and I guess I want to say a friend's opinion, no item in the makeup industry is worth the stress. Because these companies, really, what they do is they launch a product, they, they hype it up or whatever, or say, oh, it's limited edition. Then they want to see people's reaction. And just like you saw people's reaction here, fighting with each other, fighting with the people from the company, fighting from whatever reason, um, after they saw how people really, like, all about this product, or, oh my god, I have to get it, I'll kill for it, whatever. Okay, maybe they didn't say they kill for it, but, you know, it kind of sounded like it. They got kind of threatening. They got kind of threatening. I was reading the comments, okay? Um, anyways, the company see how people react towards the product, and then, when they see it's actually a seller, then they'll be like, oh, guess what? We're making it permanent. And it's like, but I just bought all of it together because, you know, like, you get me? So, well, is anything, is any product in the market worth the stress when it's limited edition? No. No, it's not. And you know what? Don't don't stress yourself over it. Like I said, later on, you could probably get it somewhere else. Um, I really don't recommend going on eBay because eBay is just crazy. Like, they want to sell a palette for $200 and it's like, okay, it's not, okay, bitch. Like, relax. Relax. It's not, it's it's, it's good, but it's, it's beautiful. It's a nice product, but relax, okay? Um, but, um, is... Is it worth buying the collection? Yes, it is. It's actually it's actually a beautiful collection to have. Um, me personally, I have like a sentimental feeling for it because um, it really reminds me like the glosses when I when I applied it. It really reminds me of like when I was like younger, 
and I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna put myself out there or whatever. Um, I didn't come to the U.S. till like I was like nine or ten. Um, so when I was little, like these little glosses and stuff, whatever they sell, they sold them like at the cheap stores and stuff like that. And it just really reminds me of those things that I used to enjoy when I was younger, when I was like a little girl or whatever. Um, the smell of it reminds me of like a bubble gum I used to love when I was at that time. It just reminds me to like those nice days when, you know, um, the world's not as important as it is now or, you know, shit doesn't get that serious as it does not excuse my language. Um, I am going to tell you once in a while I do um, use profanity. I'm so sorry. I can't really um <laughs> can't really help it it's just the way it's my personality so please don't let your kids watch me because once in a while i do kind of let a little something go out um anyways um you know things are not as serious as they are now when you're a child so like i don't know just something about this collection the scent the taste everything just, just oh my god i say that tastes like if i'm eating it right like if i'm like just specifically eating a piece of it and i'm not just you know fall out mouth whatever um it just reminds me when I was little and I have like the sentimental feeling to it like this. It just brings me back to memories or like thoughts or flashbacks, whatever. Um, but personally, yes, I do believe that um, not every single item, you know, having like every single freaking gloss from the collection. But I do feel like, you know, at least the palette and a blush and one gloss is totally worth it. I love the trio. Um, if the same blush was in the trio, which is not because they were pretty smart about it, of course. Um, if the same blush was in the trio, I would probably just, I would have just bought in the trio. Because honestly, this, this blush, it's a relaunch. It's only, this one is just a relaunch. They, um, originally already had it, like, in the old 1990s packaging, and it, it was called Papa Tom Peach. But then, um, they just launched it again, reformulated with the peach scent. There you go, I'm flashing you guys again. With the peach scent. Um, and taste. <laughs> so... If it would have been in the trio, I would have just gone to the trio. But since they're both different, of course, because they were smart. Because why would they launch one trio with the same blush and then just the blush by itself? Of course, people would just get the trios. But because they want to sell both. Anyways, um, I do believe like these products are totally um, worth it. Is it worth the stress? No, it's not. If you can't get your hands on it, don't worry. It's probably going to be relaunched one more time. And I'm not saying like, oh, it's going to... I mean, it's going to be stocked up somewhere else, you know? Like, I know in my store, we have, like, peach palettes left, lots of lip glosses left. Um, the peach palette, by the way, it is going to be, um, it's going to be a permanent item for those of you guys that don't know. It's going to be a permanent. Um, it is worth having your collection, especially if you already have, like, the other, um, chocolate palette collections, whatever. This is really totally, um, worth having in your, in your collection. Um, uh, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my first video after decades of not filming <laughs> and um i'm really looking forward to filming some more i have so many products i want to review for you guys it's so unreal um i am very happy to be back i am very grateful that i actually had people asking me when was i gonna come back to film and when uh, am i gonna do a new video and where have i been it's just it was so like overwhelming because i remember i just did like six videos about a year and some months ago and life happens and probably I'll be, I'll be talking about it a little bit later on just um after i get a little more comfortable um i do feel like i don't feel as nervous as i used to feel when i used to film in the beginning because that's what i was scared of because i will tell you something i probably said in the other video when i'm very nervous and i mean extremely nervous my mexican thick ass accent just starts coming up and flowing through every single little thing i say so, uh, <laughs> I just hope that in my next following videos, I'm not as nervous. <laughs> um, but I will say, um, I have a lot in mind coming up for you guys. Um, thank you so much for those of you guys that were following me. I've noticed that, like, um, when I, when I left the, my channel, I had, like, 200 and something, so like, 200 subscribers. And now I have, like, triple that. And I was like, wow, you know, without filming anything, without doing anything, like, wow, like, you guys actually like my goof ass, you know? <laughs> um, it's not it's not all about subscribers. I just want to let you guys know that. I do feel more comfort... Com how, how do you say it? More comforted? No, no, no. It's not that the word. More comfortable. More comfortable when I have more subscribers. 
um because that means that i am getting to more people and i don't mean like oh i got all these subscribers i mean like i'm actually you know getting to more people like sometimes in my in my videos i send messages um one of my main top best uh most important messages is be kind be kind to one another be kind to the world spread the kindness because with kindness i'm not that cheesy but with kindness we could change our world and which is what we're gonna leave to our generations if you guys have kids i have a four-year-old um you guys know what i'm talking about um the world the real world out there now it's getting pretty ugly and it's getting pretty sad so my main message in every single video or what i want to transmit to you guys is please be kind please do good um and spread kindness because that's what that's what changes that's what changes everything that's what makes a huge change so anyway i could just go on with this all the time um i hope to, um, i'll be seeing you guys soon i hope that you guys tune in next time again um like i said i have a lot of projects going on for you guys and um i'll catch you guys later